Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over a deck that's called the Old Whispers Tarot and it's going to be an unboxing. I have the box right here. This is the full set so it has a whole bunch of goodies. So we're just going to get right to it. I think I already cut open the box. Yes I did. Whoa, look at this hollow. Oh shit, I almost dropped the top here. Here. That's so pretty. What is this? Hello, I hope you like your card deck and a review would be awesome. Thank you. Of course I will review. This is so cute that they do that. Okay, let's. There's. Oh my god, this box is huge! Okay, let me. <laughs> safely take this out. I'll be right back. Oh, I just noticed there's stuff on the bottom. Okay, well, there's this. I don't know what this is. I'm just trying to pop it out. Oh, it's a bag. It's like really in there. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Let me move this box out of the way. So as I was taking the box out, I noticed this bag underneath. Whole thing because it won't go on the screen, but this is a nice bag. Is there anything inside? Mm, no, there's nothing inside the bag, but that's cool. And then there is also this cool looking metallic card that came with it. Isn't that cool? Old Whispers Tarot HP Lovecraft. I'm assuming most, if not all, of the artwork in this deck is going to be based on HP Lovecraft. Alright, so moving the bag and cool card aside, here is the big box that came inside that box. Oh my god, look at this hollow though. Look at these creatures in here. Isn't that cool? Let me uh, turn it around. Whoa. Oh, I turn on my ceiling light. I might have to turn it off because that glare might get annoying. Ooh, look at this hollow. All right, let me take this plastic off. Plastic is off. Oh my God, this box is so huge. We're gonna shimmy it. Whoa. What is all this? Oh, wrong way. Oh my god, there is a lot in here, guys. So I'm guessing this is the actual deck here. But let's see what we have. Oh, the whispers. This feels like an envelope. Is it like... Oh, it's just a fancy envelope. Maybe it's coming with something that'll go in the envelope. I figured certificate of authentication. But I don't know if this will come with it. That's cool, though. Look at the... Detail here in the envelope. We got a pin. I'm assuming that's what the cups might look like. That's cool. That's cute. I'm getting a collection of pins now for tarot decks. A velvet bag, old whispers. This is kind of, it, it looks brown. I'm like, it's not burgundy. It looks more brown toned. So brown velvet bag. This, is this, what is this? Oh, it's a big box. What is this? Here, let's take, let's take these boxes out of this box first. Ooh, we get a coin? That's cool. Oh, I wonder if this is the tower card. Only because I see towers in there. And then there's a lot of little details on the outside as well. Hopefully you guys can see it and my camera's catching it. That's cool. And this is the back. Again, a lot of little details on the side here. Awesome sauce. 
this is, these look like um, poker cards, or poker card size. So I'm wondering what this is, if not that. Oh, more metallic-y looking cards. Wait, where's the other one? Oh, here it is. Here's the one that came in the beginning with the cool rocket. And then, It says Old Whispers down here. Old Whispers in the back. The cover art. The horror. Whoa. You know, this kind of gives me judgment vibes a bit just because that person is reaching out like we're used to seeing in the judgment card. Oh my god, their trunk is a leech. How cool is that? Ooh, are these the backs of the cards? Oh, look at that. That was also on the back of the um, box. All right, so metallic -y cards. What is this booklet, I believe? We will open that in a bit. Ooh, another metallic -y card. This is the dark, whoa. And there's big ass vultures down here. Oh, well, maybe statues of vultures, because those back there look like statues. There's people down there. Oh, that's creepy. Creepy cool. Again, the back of the card. And this is... We don't know yet, but it's a big... Maybe more coins? Maybe? I'm assuming. Let's see what this is. Oh, more cards. I wonder if this is like the Major Arcana Metallic set. And then lastly, I believe this should be the deck. Ooh, God, this is heavy. Like this one itself. Ooh, look at the hollow. This is so cool. All right, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and take the plastic off of everything and then we're gonna go through it. I will leave the deck last. I'm assuming this is the tarot deck, but let me just take the plastic off of everything. I'll be right back. All right, so plastic is off of everything. I'm not sure if the cards here have plastic too, because, you know, first impression, so we'll see, I guess. Um, I guess we'll start from here and then go down. <laughs> so these are the extra coins. I kind of hear them clinking around, so they might have moved. Also because it did, it did, you know, travel from abroad, so. Whoa. Oh, see, they did kind of move. Ooh. Oh my God. What is this? Ooh. I see a zombie feral looking dude. This is cool. Oh, I see eyeballs. I love eyeballs. These coins feel really good and sturdy. They're heavy too. Good material. Ooh, I wonder if this is the wand. The one behind this one kind of looked like the cup, doesn't it? Cup, wand. The other one. Maybe this is the pinnacle? So this would probably be the sword? Maybe? Is this the right side? I can't tell. Is this right side up or not? My apologies. Ah, look, it's the sword. That's cool. So you have the, you have coins for the suits here. And then, and then they also give me this one right here. Noise. I'm going to put these in the tarot bag they gave me. Because the deck already has its own box. So I'm not really going to put the deck in here. But I'll put the coins in here though. Very nice. Let's 
see. Put this away. Oh my god, I have so many things on my desk because there is so much in this box. Well, we have this out already, so I guess we'll look at this. Cool looking book here. Oh, nice. It's just a little notebook. How cool is that? I want to sniff it. Mmm, smells good. It smells like nice old paper, but the good smelling old paper, if you know what I mean. Pretty, pretty. Next, we'll do this one here. I believe this is, ooh, the box seals, or all of the boxes here have a nice matte finish too. I believe these are metallic version. I can't read. I don't know if this is Chinese or Japanese. My apologies, I can't read it though, but I think these are the metallic cards. Do I just pop it out? There's no like little lips to, so this might be a, this might take a bit. All right, I think we're getting it. Yeah. That was kind of hard to open. More plastic. So these are totally metallic cards. Oh, nice. Let's see. Just to do a flip through of these for you. So I guess we're already gonna, these we're already gonna see the majors here. So this is the fool. These are just a little bit hard to see on camera because of like. Well, you can see it better here, so I'll put that there. Because of the metallic, well, the world. All right, so they're not in a particular order, but you know, first impressions. So we're just gonna look at it how it came. But oh my God, there's a lot going on around here. Judgment. Totally gives me um, Lord of the Ring vibes with the eye there. The sun. I'm wondering if these card materials here, if it's like um, a linen finish? It kind of feels like it is. This is the moon. Whoa. This looks like a weird frog that has an octopus coming out of its face. Ooh, the star, look at all those colors. That's cool. I'm wondering how the regular deck's gonna look. The tower, because that way we'll be able to see it just a little bit better. The devil. Whoa, that is a creepy looking devil. I guess we're gonna get like three flip throughs in here because I think that's a deck. And then we have the regular tarot deck and then this one here. Temperance, oh my God. This looks, ugh. I'm getting like the heebie-jeebies with all the legs that it has. Just because it makes me think of centipedes. Oh, there's little eyeball babies down there. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, it's not so scary now. Death, ooh. Schmeal just a little bit. Uh, this is the hanged man. Whoa, there is a spider um, wrapping up this dude, and that spider looks pretty freaky. I hope we'll be able to see the close ups better on the regular cards. This is Justin. Wheel of Fortune. The Hermit. Wow. Strength. Interesting for strength. This gives me more magician vibes. Doesn't it? The Chariot. That is a freaky looking chariot. Oh my God. Look at that face. 
the lovers. Creepy lovers. I love it. The Hydophant. Sorry if, I, if I'm going too fast with these cards. We are going to dedicate more time with the actual deck. I just don't want to make the video too long for you guys. I personally love long videos though. Ooh, the High Priestess! Is this a uh, Bastet? That's so cool. The Magician. See, they should have used the character in the Strength card as the Magician. That makes more sense. Oh, that's <laughs> so that's it for the metallic -y cards, but I feel like this is some type of linen finish or card type. That's what it feels like. It feels very flexible too. This one has kind of a gunmetal gilded edge. All right, let's get to the next item. We'll do this thing right here. Well, actually, I was gonna say we'll do this deck, but now we'll do this thing right here. We'll see what that is. So let's see what this thing is. Uh, looks like a pendulum. Oh, really cool pendulum. Oh my goodness. How do I? I don't wanna break it. Do you just like, oh. Whoa. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my god. This is heavy. I'm scared that this little string here isn't gonna hold it. Jesus Christ. Here, let's do a close-up. There's the sword. The pentacle. The wand. A cup, and then it has insignia up here. This looks like a leaf, a boat for water, the fire symbol right there, and that kind of looks like waves, so for water. That's cool. And then this little guy here, that kind of looks like a cup doesn't it? But man, this thing is heavy. This part here. So pretty, really sturdy material. It's so heavy. Yay, I have another pendulum. We're gonna put you right here. All right, next we're gonna do this. I think this is a poker card set. Yep, sure is. Why not? Let's go through it. So these are the bags. I think they just repurpose the ooh, the <laughs> Jesus the art in the uh, oh if they did then I don't want to go through all of this just yet. I want to save it for the actual deck so let's Let's do this one last then. It's probably just the images, or most of the images from the tarot deck. Cause I think poker, uh, I think a poker card deck has like 50 something, 52, is it 52? I'm not a hundred percent. I don't really play with poker cards. But anyways, let's get to the piece de resistance. Old Whispers Tarot. Look at this beautiful holographic. Whoa, cool. Box. Oh, it's a sleeve, so. Pretty holographic sleeve on the box. See, oops. Off. The box is a pretty matte finish. Gold foiling for the title here. See, this box has the little openings here to open 
the other one didn't. Oh, nice. It doesn't have plastic. Ooh. I'm happy there's no more plastic I have to unravel. Tear this thing off. It's gold gilded. It's that, it's the type of gilding that I'm not a fan of because I feel like the cards stick a lot with this gilding. I would prefer for this one to have been the matte glittery gold. It also would have looked aesthetically better. Oh, there's already a chip on this card. It's a matte finish. These are the backs. I'm wondering if this is in order. Even if it isn't, we're just gonna do it the way it came. This is our full card. We'll see, we can see more of the details here as opposed to the metallic version. We'll see, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a weird creature back there. There's these tentacles, some of them have mouths on them. All these creatures have the blown horns. Look at the borders though. That's cool. These feel nice. Sturdy cardstock as well. In addition. Oh, the colors. Are there eyes in there? I see eyeballs. The High Priestess. I love this High Priestess card. Look at all her cats. Look at that cat. He's like, what, homie? What you want? <laughs> the Empress. Well, wow. look at this beautiful Empress here. Oh my God. Let's see what's going on with you. Emperor. Trying to see what's on their medallion there. The Hierophant. Oh look, there's the people that we saw earlier. Just looking at this huge Hierophant here. There's an eyeball right there and on their shoulder. The lovers. I'm guessing they're all lovers. Or maybe just them two. Look at that detail. The chariot. It's kind of like it's riding this weird looking blob monster down here. There's creatures riding it. I don't know if they're on a mountain. These look like mountains back there. For a second I thought, this might be water here. Kinda looks like water. But look at that blob. And whatever this thing is. A strength card that should have been the magician card. Doesn't it give more magician vibes? For sure. I mean, it's literally a magician. <laughs> the Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Hey, there's that sphere that's this, the pendulum, right? That's cool. Or not sphere. I don't know why I said sphere. <laughs> that triangular thing. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Justice. For a second, I thought that flame had a little face on it. Doesn't it look like it's screaming just a little bit? Like, ah. The hanged man. This one was freaky looking. I love it though. It's a disgusting looking spider. I don't know if they're dead. They don't look dead. They still have color to their skin, but 
they're just like, yeah, whatever, get it over with. Yeah, look at the, it's drooling. It's so gross, it's cool. And yeah, this is the dude that looks like he smells. Look, you got some fart clouds back there or something. One little bats. Doesn't he look like he smells? Just a little bit. Oh my god, Temperance, the one that gave me the heebie jeebies. But look at these babies! <laughs> little baby eyeballs! That's kind of cute. That makes me feel a little better, but this is, this is, I don't know, man, I don't, no comment. <laughs> the devil. I don't know if that's a fish or if that's connected to this thing here. Looks like a fish. The tower. <laughs> He's got a gun too. Oh yeah, the tower's right here. Or at least these look like towers of some sort. And weird flying leeches with oils. Oh look, there's another one. There's one of his buddies back there shooting at the weird boil leech. Kind of like they're defending their planet from these creatures. Oh, look at this star card. I love these colors. That's so pretty. Oh, the moon. That's that weird frog with the octopus coming out of its face. That looks like the world back there. But they're on the moon, presumably. What are you holding? Well, no, he's got a little that kind of looks like uh, Mewtwo. <laughs> a little bit. But they're holding somebody. The sun. Well, I see a face. I see teeth right there. I'm assuming those... Actually, those kind of look like teeth, too. Like, just teeth coming at you. Or a mouth. Right there, there's one right there too. Judgment. Look at that eye, that's so cool. The world. I like how there's something coming out of the book too. The dark. Are these extra cards? Oh, there's no guidebook too, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. This might be an extra card. I'm gonna have to count the the cards to see if, how many cards there are in here. Oh, look at that eyeball. The horror. I think these are extra. We'll check at the end of the flip through. So now we're on the miners. This is the Ace of Cups. Oh, those are cool skeletons, or I mean skulls. Those are cool. Two of Cups. Oh my God. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, are you touching his hand or what are you doing? Oh, I think she is. Where are they though? I kind of see trees back there. Three of Cups. They kind of look like swamp people. Because they have like fish kind of features on their face. Did this guy have a fish face? Kinda. Man, but they're like, they're like booking it with these cups. <laughs> he looked like he got caught. <laughs> And this one back there is just chilling, like, I don't care. Four of Cups, whoa. Whoa, were you on the- wait, were you in a 
an outhouse. This makes me think that they were in an outhouse and they got caught off guard by whatever that is. Doesn't it? Oh, that, that face though is creepy. Five of Cups. Oh, the cups have faces. There's a statue picking up the table right there. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Total Indiana Jones vibes with, you know, this character. And then you got the cave where the ball would come out. Or boulder. Ooh, there's a hand coming out of that one. Eight of Cups. Ooh, I love the detail on the ship and the sails. They're all torn up. Nine of Cups. Is this the same dude that's in the world car? Because his eye. Well, he had an eye on the left, or the right, that's his right, our left, but this one he has an eye on the left. The emblem on the book is different too. Ten of Cups. Ooh, see fish people, and I'm guessing that's their babies right there. Oh my god, look at his fish. Page of Cups. Wow. That's a big page right there. Knight of Cups. A lot of these, at least in the cups so far, are like um, kind of octopus-like aliens or creatures of some sort. Queen of Cups. You know, like an elephant with an octopus creature, but from the sea, and they have wings. Ooh, I like these colors, King of Cups. These colors are cool. What is this? Maybe, I feel like that's one of those mechanisms that, that we would use to dive deep underwater, to do underwater research. Kind of looks like it. At least that's, that's what... I get off of it, like the feels of it. Now we're on the pentacles. Ace of pentacles. Oh, there's, oh, there's some eyeballs on the tree. Oh, I think these are bats. That's cool. Oh, look, the tree has a hand there and a hand here. You have like a gross leech or snake back there. Two of Pentacles. Ooh, look at this cool dragon. Again, I love these colors, like the blues, teals, purples, pretty much that family of colors. It's really pretty. Three of Pentacles. Ew, look at this weird fly. You got pyramids back there. Are there babies in there? No. I don't see babies. Four of Pentacles. You have the treasure chest right there. A gargoyle of some sort. It looks like, I don't think that's a statue. I think that's an actual creature. And a door behind them. Like they're on guard. On guard. Five of Pentacles. Whoa. Venus flytrap face. It also look, kind of looks like a wolf. Man, my brother would love this artwork. He's a big fan of H.P. Lovecraft and H.R. Giger. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. This 
kind of looks like a walrus, doesn't it? Like the face, just a little bit. I also like that the pentacles, for the most part, have different designs in them. In most of the cards, if not all of them. Nine of pentacles. Oh, I like your throne. That's cool. Ten of pentacles. Oh, snake people. That's awesome. And look, their pentacles have snakes on them too. Page of pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Whoa. It's a weird bat horse. Even with the fang. Ooh, this is a pretty queen. Queen of Pentacles. She's like a tree person. An end of some sort. Oh, I thought that was a slug for a second. I was like, poor slug. She's like smushing it. And there's like an aura coming out or glowing inside of her. It's awesome. King of Pentacles. Whoa, a zombie pharaoh. Let's see, look at their pentacle. And then compared to the queen's pentacle, it kind of looks like her headdress. Now we're on the wands. Ace of wands. <laughs> Robot. Two of wands. Three of wands. So technically, technically this is a fully illustrated deck, right? But because it's so different, whoa, look at this four of wands. Oh my God, what are you? Beaver, beaver rat. Is that a eel? It kind of looks like that face protruded out of the rat's mouth and that's what we get. Um, What was I saying before I got caught off by beaver rat? Look at that one, he's just trying to get to freedom right there um oh because of the artwork like it's so vast and different and obviously not your rws clone uh, it's gonna be quite confusing for a lot of people so but technically it is a fully illustrated deck it's not a pip deck however i would not recommend this deck for beginners Intermediate expert for sure. If you're very familiar with the RWS system or the tarot system, this is Five of Wands. Gandalf, is that you? Look, they got a little gargoyle. Whoa, Six of Wands. Again, I'm loving this color scheme. The green, steels, blues, purples. For a second, I thought their pincers had faces in it. Doesn't that look like a face? Seven of wands. Oh my God, creepy looking spider. But you know what I mean by like, it's technically fully illustrated, it's not a pip deck. But it's also not an RWS clone. Eight of Wands. Oh, um, Graboids. Total Graboid vibes. If y'all know what I'm talking about, comment down below. I think there's like five movies now about them. Four or five. Nine of Wands. Wow. That looks like a zombie. That might be a coral. I think that's a type of coral that grows. It's kind of like what grows on the side of some ships. I might be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but it makes me think of coral. 
or a type of coral. Ten of Wands. Whoa, this get up is cool. Does that lady have shades? Or I think they're blindfolded. For a second, I thought she had sunglasses. Page of Wands. Oh my god. Look at that creepy face. Ew, the wand is like through them. Knight of Wands. I'm loving these colors. Queen of Wands. Oh, I feel like they could have done more with the Queen of Wands because it pretty much looks like the Knight of Wands. King of Wands. Unless their main focus is the flames that are coming out, because all of them do have flames around them. And they're all sort of spheres. Essentially what's, what stars would most likely be, you know, like burning balls of light and fire. So I can see how that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? The only one that isn't in this form is the page. It's like that weird creature with a wand going through it. Now we're on the swords. Ace of swords. Look at all those moons back there. Two, ooh, God. Two of swords. Oh my God. Uh, they're on a throne, it seems like it. But the throne or something is coming out and poking their eyes out. Because their, their hands are in their eye holes. I can see why they're screaming. And then you have other hands holding them there too. So given this body language, some of the cards do reflect the RWS original, um, not original artwork in general, but like the body language in this case, you know, cause they're blindfolded, right? And then the way they're holding the swords here. So some of the cards do reflect that. Three of Swords, you're like here, the Three of Swords is obviously some sort of heart, or even if it wasn't, we can technically see that it is, right? And then you have the Three Swords going through it. Oh my god, there's eyeballs down there. Four of Swords, oh pretty. See this one also depicts what the Four of Swords is really well. But some of the other cards in the other suits didn't. I can see how that can be confusing. Five of Swords, these weird, I don't think these are small people compared to the trees. Six of Swords. There's a brain in there. Um, probably their brain because that looks like the top of their head is missing. Not their whole head. Well, maybe, I can't tell. You, eight of swords. Look at that mouth. Swords. Page of Swords. Is that its butt? I thought for a second it was picking up a turtle. No, that's uh, that's its butt. You got its legs here and then its booty right here. Interesting. Knight of Swords. Whoa, where is your face? Unless that is your face, like that might be the mouth and then the two glowing holes here might be the eyes. Queen of 
Queen of Swords. Wow. And then lastly, the King of Swords. Oh, this gives me freaking Lord of the Rings vibes. I forgot the name of the king, like the dark ghost king that we see in there. All right, well that was the flip through of the actual deck. We still have to briefly look at the poker cards here. Um, but just to give information on the deck itself, like if it's for beginners, intermediate or expert level, um, as stated earlier, I don't see this as a beginner friendly deck. One, because a lot of the cards can kind of seem pippish or confusing. Well, no, they're not pippish because they are fully illustrated, but for the most part, like some of the creatures here are just placed with the items around it and other ones make sense. Like this Four of Pentacles, you know, it makes me think of the original Four of Pentacles in the RWS, especially because you have the treasure chest here as a symbol to represent the Four of Pentacles. But there's some cards in here that threw me off. Like I guess here, this one not in particularly threw me off, but here, Two of Pentacles. Generally, you would know one of the things that Two of Pentacles represent is balance, right? But here you have a weird dragon creature with the Two Pentacles. Somebody else who doesn't really know anything about tarot or is still learning would probably be like, okay, well, how does this show me balance? You know what I mean? So that's that's kind of what I meant by somebody might see it as a pippish deck because it doesn't have enough symbolism in some of the cards to help you remember or understand the meaning of the card. I hope that makes sense. So simply because of those things and it does not come with a book too, I don't recommend this for beginners. I'd say intermediate to expert level for sure. Now let's see how it shuffles. The card style feels really sturdy, so. But not like too thick or too hard. Oh yeah. That shuffles just fine. Comfortable overhand. It's your normal tarot size, but let me grab another card to compare for you. This is from the Cosmic Visions Tarot, normal tarot size. Here we have the Old Whispers Tarot. So, yep, it's tarot size. Now let's just briefly look over the poker deck here. Cause I know it's obviously not, there's obviously not 78 cards in a poker deck. So I'm just wondering which images they chose to stuck to stuck with to stick with but it's cool that each of the cards actually have like a full image you know instead of just like in a regular poker deck you'll just have like the nine spades on the card here so they're using so the spades here would be the cups in the tarot deck but they're using the card in the deck that would represent the same number. So seven of cups here would be the seven of spades. So that's nice. I'm wondering, so ace in the tarot would be ace in the deck. Which ones are we missing though? Just the um, majors probably, I think so, right? I'm not sure what else they would miss. I think, yeah, I think we're just missing the majors here. So initially they just used the minors for the poker card set. Um, I might, I might just give this to my brother. I don't know. I don't know how often he plays poker or whatever, but just for a deck to have. And like I said, he likes HP Lovecraft and all that jams. We'll see, we'll see, but that is the a poker card set. So your general poker card size to, I think that was it for this unboxing. There was a lot of stuff in here. I was not expecting the 
a box that it came in to be so huge too, but they sent so many things. Like, I feel like this was well worth the price for this set too. Oh, by the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the Etsy shop where I purchased the deck. Um, they do have two versions, at least from when I had purchased at the time, they had two versions. One of them was the full set, which is what you saw in this video. The other one was just the tarot deck. Well, that is it for this video, guys. If I forgot to mention anything or discuss anything about this set or the tarot deck, let me know in the comments down below. I think I covered everything. And if you have any questions for me, let me know as well. I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my abilities. If you stuck till the end of the video, leave the octopus emoji in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to like the video as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.